Hi, welcome to Bond Bites, the daily bond market highlights from INR Bonds. I'm Arjun Patsarthi. And in today's market, we are seeing a lot of uh, issuers uh, of bonds coming to the market to raise debt, uh, largely uh, to uh, in anticipation of a quarter that is going to be very difficult. A lot of uh, things happening in this quarter for the lenders and uh, issuers of bonds. The first is that uh, the money in the system is very low. It's actually in huge deficit, about one and a half, a hundred and point uh, uh, five trillion or one hundred and fifty thousand crores of deficit. So, which is a very large uh, number of uh, amount, uh, which is like tight, which is showing the tightness and liquidity. The second is that there has been a, uh, other regulations. RBI has been very cautious. They have raised risk weights for uh, lenders. And uh, so, hence that that can affect the capital request. C. So before their uh, uh, before their numbers come out, they are looking to raise the uh, the more money to keep themselves liquid. The third is that uh, this uh, new uh, the AIF rulings that RBI has now told uh, their uh, regulated entities, which are banks and and, and NBFCs, that if they have invested in AIF, AIF they have to make 100% provisions on their investments or they have to exit their investments. So all this put together is placing a huge amount of pressure on lenders and uh, there, there is a, a spate of uh, bond issues that is held going on and that is also taking up yields in the market as well. Um, so here today Chola is coming out, uh, I announced a public debt issue about closer to uh, 1500 uh, or 1600 crores and uh, this is uh, uh, the levels are uh, around 840 to 860 kind of levels for two to five year maturity bonds and uh, this uh, and may, like chola many others have come out are coming out with public debt issues or private placements and this is uh, this is going to keep uh, this quarter that is the january to march and quarter pretty tight for all the borrowers as liquidity plus a lot of regulations plus the uh, plus the uh, the the urgency to keep a lot of liquidity that is uh, that is uh, forcing issuers to come to the market to borrow and pay the levels that the market is willing to uh, take the bonds whatever levels so, and this so we're going to see a couple of more tightness in corporate bond uh, yields I mean, tightness in terms of the yields are rising uh, in the next one to two months and spreads over GSEX are going to rise because GSEX yields are coming trending down on a lot of other positives. So in today's market, GSEX were flat, as, uh, equity markets were down largely uh, on, on the back of HDFC Bank coming out with some uh, poor numbers and uh, guidance, very cautious guidance. And uh, the rupee was also slightly down. And uh, yeah, so then US Treasury is uh, more flat. All put together, a tight market for corporates. And that's going to keep spreads higher. So investors looking to invest in should be looking out for all these factors before they invest in. Do read the risk, risk factors before you invest in bank bonds. Thank you very much. As a financial advisor, my biggest responsibility is to help my clients make the right investment choices. Now, with INR Bonds, buying and investing in bonds for my clients is quick and easy. With my guidance on bonds, my clients are happy and I'm getting new business every day. Register as a financial advisor on INRBonds.com to help your clients invest and save better through bonds.